Yo, 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 everybody. Generic B here, and welcome back to another episode of Crash Landing, the Minecraft modded, ooh, bad guys you never want to meet in a Dark Alley series. <laughs> um, so, it's kind of funny. I was just double-checking, making sure this stuff was working, and uh, you know how I joked around I put dead bodies in here? Well, got a little bit of, uh, the system is gunking up because I've got a little blood in here, apparently. <laughs> hmm. So I'm just kind of taking it, and it makes coagulated blood. Blue, blue. Which I think you can use instead of uh, slime balls. And maybe for some other stuff as well. But let's see how much of this junk we can get out of here. Uh, probably, probably one and not quite one. So this will, this should do it. And now these guys will probably start. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay. So we will, eh, we'll leave that for right now. Ah, so I'm sick. Uh, if you guys have not heard in my other videos, and you may have noticed that I haven't made videos <laughs> for a couple days, really. Um, man, I feel like just total garbage, but I'm a little bit better today. Tiny, tiny bit better today. So, um, so I figured we could get a rockin' and a rollin'. Um, let's see. I want to, uh, I haven't really done much work because I have been sick. Um, but I, I know I've got a bunch of, uh, a bunch of stuff ready to turn in quest-wise. So let's see how far we can get on some quests and, and such and so forth. Um, oh, but before I do, uh, I had a problem with this thing. Uh, the bats. Oh, the bats. Uh, and then let's, how much I got in there? 47, because I've been putting it in the system. Um, this was the level where I had all of the, uh, conveyor belts and stuff. Sorry, cold medicine. Um, all the conveyor belts and stuff, and it was working, except the bats, man. Pretty soon it filled up with bats, and the bats were like, Pfft. I don't, I don't need your conveyor belts. Your conveyor belts need mean nothing to me. And so they were just flying. They'd be like hanging out in the corner going, eh, eh. and uh, so unfortunately, um, I had to modify this a little bit. And that's okay because I think I'm gonna turn this guy into a uh, like a mob spawner. Put one of those auto spawners in there which if we haven't made one i can't remember i'll put one in and so we'll have a little system going on um so the layout now is a little weird i'm not sure what to do about it because now i have to come down gotta gotta get up to get down right so i'm not really sure eh, not everything works out perfect uh okay so let us first and foremost let us put some stuff away uh huh. Um, I'll keep I'll keep you right there just in case we need. Put you in there. Give you some of that business. Put you right there. And oh, and you're weird, so you'll go there. And we'll put the squid seeds. No, hello. Squid seeds right here in the pneumatic craft stuff. Okay. Okay. Um, and I've already remembered that I only have the machine frames for three of these, so that's fine. Um, this is the one with the breeder and the rancher, I believe. So let's, let's do these. Let's go home. Technological revolution. It is not this guy. It is breeder, chronotyper, and rancher is what we need to do. So we will go rancher the rancher boom nope because it's got these guys put some shears in <clears throat> oh my good lord couple pieces of plastic couple pieces of tin and one of these little jammers right there rancher breeder huh yes and a chronotyper we should be fine. Hiya! Okay, so we turn these bad boys in. Claim the rewards. We get a drum, some flu ducks. Not a great reward, but hey. It is what it is. 
And so now we have leftovers, a sewer. There's always byproducts. Ooh, safari net. Ooh. Um, Essenceberry bushes. Ooh, that's cool. That's very nice. Um, sewer, sludge boiler, biofuel generator, and slaughterhouse. Cool. Um, we're going to put these right here. Man, we're running out of space. And look at all these wasted conveyor belts. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, what else we got? I think... I think... You know, let's see what, about these. ME1K storage and an ME chest. So let's look at the ME chest first. We're going to play this by ear. ME chest. Takes a chest, some iron, two glass. One of these conversion matrices... So we need more of that, an Emmy basic processor. Oh, which takes these things, Packer. Okay, I've got somewhere over the rainbow, where up her. Um, I've got some of these and some of these, so I can make, how many of these, oh, crapper. How many of these can I make? I can make four. Okay. Hmm. Is is you enough? Is you enough to make things work? And then what's it take? Uh, uh, it's one of those logic, hundred logic things. Redstone and plastic. Plastic trees. Well, I know I got these. And I've got... Nope. Nope. Not prepared, because I'm not... I'm not feeling well. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make a whole buttload of those those things, uh, those little logic things, so we can finish all of these up, and we'll work on the ME thing as well. So, man, we got a bunch bunch to do. So I will be right back. <laughs> I was just minding my own beeswax. Uh, wow. Okay, I'm finally starting to get a little bit of health back. Uh, I get hit with a poisonous spider, and I do not know how he got up in me, but boy, did he ever, and he, I didn't have my, uh, <laughs> I didn't have my sword on my hotbar, because I was busy trying to make this stuff. I'm out of redstone. Um, I'm actually trying to sift three more redstone so I could finish this thing up. Um, uh, because I've been sifting gravel, and gravel does not produce redstone. So I've used up all my redstone, uh, you know, making like uh, capacitors and transistors and, and uh, energy conduits and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, you know what? It's, it's time. I, I got to do this thing and show you guys how to make this really awesome, uh, <laughs> uh, what, do, what do you call it? Holy crap. Whew. Man, I'm just shocked that I almost died. Um, it's like an, an auto sifter using Steve's factory manager. Um, and this one I didn't I didn't make up. This this came from uh, from VSWE Viswi himself, uh, the creator, one of the creators, I think the creator of uh, Steve's factory manager. So, ooh, ooh, yeah, you all see me over there, but you can't get to me. Wow, is that, that guy look extra tall to you? No, we're fine. All right, let's, let's go down. Okay, I think he's, I think he's down one more and he's gonna be right over there. So I'm ready for you, pal. And, ha, ah, there you are. I have no idea how he got through anything. Hit, hitting F7? No clue. I was right there mining my own beeswax. Ooh. Okay, so... While I'm... Oh, <laughs> I'm so scared now. Okay, while I'm waiting on all of this to go down, uh, let's finish these guys up. Because uh, I made I made just enough. Ooh, I got so much stuff in my inventory. Uh, oh, you know what I was going to do? Hold up. Ooh, was not expecting to start recording again so soon. Bonk, 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 bonk. Okay, that's all good. Let's put 
You back where you belong. No, no. Give me that. Put you right there. Oh, oh. I'm too sick to mess with you guys. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's start with. Well, let's put these. No, you know what I'll do? I'll go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so uh, the one that we're going to do is we're going to. Not the ME. We're going to do this one. Auto spawner, auto anvil, auto enchanter. We can do this. So, auto. Auto spawner. Mm-hmm. Kaboom. Auto anvil. Right? That's the one. Yep. Kaboom. And the auto enchanter. Right? Why you know? Give me. Auto Enchanter. You know, I heard that this was an issue. Obsidian Machine Frame. That that's supposed to work. But it's not working. I heard someone make a comment on my video, one of my episodes, saying that that doesn't work. Hmm. Okay, so I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to, because it must just be some kind of quirk, right? So we're gonna put these two like this. Just moving this stuff where I know exactly where it is. Just so you guys can see it on camera. Uh, that's strange, isn't it? Hmm, wonder why that is. Uh, all right, so. I'm going to throw these away. I made a little trash can. One, two, three, four, four, four. And then I'm gonna go into creative game mode one, just so we can finish this up, okay? Not, it's not cheaty. Oh no, uh, hold up. Let's make room for it. There we go. Enchanter, auto enchanter. That is what we're looking for. Uh, and then game mode zero because I'm sure it's some kind of bug um, and if it's not if I'm doing that wrong somehow I'm sorry you guys can let me know oh it still doesn't oh you have to well pecker head because you have to actually craft it well well there goes that problem well might as well throw you away Dang it, we'll, we'll make one once it gets fixed or something, I guess. Huh, if you guys know how to fix that, let me know. Um, and then, shoot, uh, we're going to put those back there. And then we'll grab these guys. Boop, 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 boop. And this is what? What am I making here? Not those. Advanced machines? Yeah, induction smelter and a magma crucible. This we can do. Induction smelter. Boom. Which is very handy. And a magma crucible. Boom. Awesome. So what I'm thinking, now that we have that, potentially we'll be able to next episode. Uh, oh, I can claim the reward. Um, okay, good. We get see we get hardened glass, which is really good. Um, Endurium blend flux. Electrum blend is the one that I think I want to get. Well, let's look at the cryothium. Because that makes things cold. Blizz powder. Blizz rod. Or we can destabilize redstone on a snowball. Okay, but what's it for? Other than... You can like cool things down with it, uh, eh, but it's possible to make, so that's fine. I know for a fact. Oh, come on! I know for a fact I need this stuff for an ep or for another quest. So I'm gonna pick that. And then thermal melting. 
Ah, so now I need to melt down a bucket of each of that. Oh, okay. So this is a normal consume task, blah, blah, blah. And we get a machine frame, ooh, a resonant energy cell, tesseract. Oh, that's actually pretty nice little task there. All right, so we can hook that up for a later date. All right, now, let us put that junk away. Uh, the stuff that I know I don't need. And I've got the stuff to make an Emmy chest, but not enough. Oh, did I suddenly magically get redstone from a quest? Quest reward? Is that what happened there? Oh, excellent. That's cool, I guess. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, all right, so let's let's make this final final little thing here. Huh? Uh, we need to make a a we need to make a manager. Huh. Okay, and that is done. So this sucker uses just what you see here. There's an oak sieve, machine inventory manager, redstone receiver, redstone emitter. A rapid item valve and a block gate. Okay. And so I can put it right around here, I think is what I want to do. Um, but I tell you what, I can't quite remember. Steve's factory manager is pretty complicated, and I'll show you why. I can't quite remember how to make it. I wasn't expecting to, uh, <laughs> to record. It was just I wanted to show you guys me getting eat up by a spider. So, okay, I'm gonna do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, we back. <laughs> you know, it's funny, I was uh, preparing for the next little part of this, and my power went out. Uh, so, I, instead I recorded another episode of Edgecraft. Uh, but, anyway, I was looking, before we get started on this, uh, this sifty thing, uh, I looked up just to make sure, see if there wasn't something I was missing with this, uh, what is it called? Um, totally forgot now. Uh, Auto Enchanter. Auto Enchanter. And I only thing I could see was some people saying that it was the wrong book. Uh, but I looked. And I even went back and I looked at the, I mean, the only way you can make a stinking book is... I mean, I didn't sawmill them. I made them this way. Leather and paper. That's how you make a book. Oh, that's how I did it for sure. So I have no idea what what's wrong here. It's the craziest thing. And it doesn't say anything like special in the... Eh, eh. Anyway, uh, let's get this thing started, shall we? Uh, and I probably might even screw this up as well. This thing is really complicated and I'm not... I don't totally 100% understand it, <laughs> uh, but I do know that this is a powerful, get out of my way, kid. Uh, this is a powerful machine, very, very powerful. So uh, it all starts with this inventory manager, and this, you can do a bunch of really cool flow charts, like you got a trigger, you can move this around, it's got a bunch of different stuff. We're gonna do that here in a minute, but I wanna set up the actual system first. Uh, so the next one we're gonna put is a block gate like that and this is kind of like a block placer sorta um, But you can also use it as a block grabber uh, So that's why they call it a block gate and we're gonna put a sifter right there right in front of it uh, and then this rapid item valve is kind of like a uh, super fast hopper so basically I mean we're making this thing just on steroids it's really cool uh, and then we're gonna put an inventory cable and I'm going to put let's see we will have I think I could do this regardless of which way it is I think um, I'm going to put the input here and the output here is a little bit different than what this we did uh, and then I'm gonna put, let's see, I think the redstone e receiver goes here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the redstone emitter goes there. This is 
but we're gonna use it to make a crazy clock. And I'm gonna put the guy right there. So essentially the way this works, shush, man, I'm making a video. Uh, the way this works is it's kind of like those routers. If you remember back in our old school uh, Feed the Beast days, uh, things that are connected to it, this whole system is kind of like, uh, kind of like, um, it's almost like a multi-block uh, setup. So like anything connected to it, that's the Steve's factory manager, uh, you can, uh, it'll like talk to each other regardless of where it is in the system. Um, and then you can use these inventory cables kind of like pipes and just move them from system to system. Uh, really cool stuff, it's really, really cool. Uh, so, but here's how you make it work. And it may not make a lick of sense, but we're gonna try. Uh, so the trigger, uh, we're going to say it's redstone controlled. And this is our redstone receiver. See, it shows us all the redstone receivers that we have in the system. So that is the one. Uh, that should be all we need on that. And so that means we put it on there. Uh, this redstone receiver, when it receives signal, it does something. And then we're going to grab a... Where you is, pal? There's something called a... Not a trigger, a... Nope. Auto crafter. Where you is, dude? Condition, flow control. There we go. And then at the end of each of these, you see it says high pulse, while high, low, low pulse. We're going to say we want to trigger it on the high pulse and also trigger it on the low pulse. Right? And then we're going to say, I think that's it. And then that's going to go to the emitter. Hello? Hello, emitter? For crying out loud, man. Here we go, redstone emitter. <laughs> okay. And then we're gonna connect these guys. Hello. And it gives you a little thing, no emitter selected. No problem. There's the emitter, foo. And the output will be a toggle. And I think that is all we have to do. So what this does is this essentially makes a really, really fast clock. So you go, bing, 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 bing. See, it's just going. And then as soon as you turn it off, then it does its little turn off Jones, right? So uh, that being said, uh, now we have to make this do something every time it gets something. So we're going to, this is gonna be our input chest and this is gonna be our output chest. Um, oh no, actually this is gonna be input, this is gonna be output. And so we're going to take, we're gonna create an input and that is going to be inputs the diamond target. You have to set a target for whatever reason. Like I think sometimes if a machine has a specific side that you want to hit, you can do that. And then items will blacklist nothing. And so we'll just, it'll take anything. So that works out nice. Uh, and then we want to create an output. I hope I get this right. Cause I, I get so messed up about this stuff. Uh, and then we are going to say this goes to the block gate. And the block gate is kind of like the placer. So it's going to place the thing. And target down, activate. And then items, we are going to whitelist dust. And we're also going to whitelist gravel like so, and then you right click these things and you can specify an amount. So we're gonna just specify one on each of these, like that, okay, and I think we're good on this guy. Ooh, hello, and this is how you connect them, right? Come here, stop it. Uh, so we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna have, we're gonna create another input, and this is going to be the inventory is going to be the rapid item valve. Spoink. Yep. And here, let's move this up so we can see things. This is going to be the rapid item valve. And then the target doesn't matter. And then here, we don't want it to... 
we don't want it to to whitelist anything. We want to grab everything. Oh, and so yep, we'll stick that right like that. I know this is crazy. I know it's super crazy. Uh, and then we want another. We want another output. I'm gonna put it right here for right now. So here we want it to be the input chest one more time, I think. <laughs> oh God, that scared me. You see that over on the side, my little dude? All right, and here we want it to be whitelist. We want dust and we want gravel. Now the reason for that is, uh, and then we're gonna close it and put it right like that. And then we'll connect the two. The reason for that is, uh, well, I'll, I'll show you before we turn it on. Is this thing, this thing's not running now, right? Okay, good. And then finally, one more output. And we're gonna set it as the output chest. And down, activate. And it doesn't matter about the blacklist or anything like that. And we put that guy right like that. And like so. And then we can connect this guy. And then how do we, there's a way to make this, I can't remember. Eh, forget it. Okay, that's connected, that's good. So here's what's going on. And I know, oh, we got a, we've got a intruder somewhere. Oh, let's kill him. No, no, I'm fine. Let's not kill him. We'll let him, let him live for now. Wait, what is, what is you? Okay, hold up. We've got issues here. Do I have, yep. Let's go hunting for a minute. No, okay, but if we're getting, okay, here's you. Oh, you mad. Okay, kill job. I wonder, there must be one. Okay, you must be down. Uh, oh, you're, you're up. Okay, you're up here. Dun, dun, no. Huh, where you is? Dun, dun, we'll find you. You can run. Aha. And hi. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, no. Crap. Okay. Uh, he's getting, he's right there. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right, so what this is doing, you flip the switch, the clock goes crazy, and as it's going, this clock is gonna tell these this thing to, uh, oh, I'm sorry, tell this thing to take either a dust or a gravel and try to put it right here. And when it does that, it's gonna actually put it inside uh, inside this uh, sif, uh, sieve <laughs> and keep uh, keep right clicking. And then it's just gonna keep on dumping them, and this thing's gonna be sifting, and this thing's just gonna quickly vacuum them up as big as you please. And then, so some things are gonna be dust and gravel, because this thing is spitting out extras, and then some stuff is gonna be the stuff that's actually in here. So they're both gonna go in, and we told it to put the dust and gravel back in the input chest so it can go back through, and to put the stuff it's sifted into this guy. And so that's how it should work. We're gonna try it. We're gonna put in, and I sure hope this works. Please work. Boom, okay. So you see it's going? See how fast it is compared to this hunker? Like you can watch them. See how fast that one's going? So much faster. And you can actually expand this. Um, I will put the link to the description, or link to the video in the description to, uh, to uh, the the video for this because he shows you how to expand it for more things. I don't really need that, I don't think. But if you look, now we've got, boom, already all this stuff that's coming through just off of that business. So see how it goes, boom, 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 super quick. And then I can also take, should be able to take some gravel, bring this guy over. This is my, not my input, this is my output. I made this one larger just in case it had a backlog. And so it's going through doing this stuff. You can see how it goes 
really, really quick. And once it's done with the dust, it will go through and it will, isn't that cool how it does that little boom, 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 boom. Uh, it'll go through and it'll do the gravel as well. Which is good because I am completely out of redstone and I've got quite a bit of dust to sift through. <laughs> and I already have four. Perfect. So, and then all I have to do is connect this bad boy up to my system. Um, actually, I might, well, no, for right now, I'll, I will, I'll run it just back over there and I'll run this guy over to here after I get all this dust done because I want to get the dust done first. Oh, man, so much stuff to do. I tell you, I tell you what. Okay, that is it for this episode, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed. Um, not quite sure uh, what we'll do in the next episode. Probably work on some more of the creating life. Uh, you know, just thinking about it, I might, it might be kind of cool if around here somehow, you know, we've got the bad stuff going on in here. If around here we have all our animals locales and stuff like that that might be kind of cool you know because i think looking at this thing we're, we're gonna get like cows and pigs and sheep and all that so maybe that would be a cool thing to do and we now have 10 buckets of mob essence so we can for sure get this one done next episode hockey dokey oh looks like i'm hungry <laughs> i'm hungry when am i not hungry in this game uh that is it for me hope you enjoyed if you did please leave a like and subscribe helps me out tremendously and until next time Take care. Brush your hair. I'll see you when I see you. Peace.